Ah, uh, welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. Uh, Irish this, whiskey. Yeah, it's in, um, we're very sorry. Okay, by demand, yellow spot. Who demanded it? Oh, I can't remember his name. A bunch of people demanded it, it wasn't just one. Okay. But we finally got to it. Now we talk about green spot all the time. Because to me, it's a truly remarkable Irish whiskey. Are these at all related? It's the same company. Oh, same company. Mitchell and Son. All right. And uh, they had they, a theme. They were originally um, merchants who then uh, had a bakery and tea and coffee shop. So, what other color spots do they have? <laughs> Blue. Yeah. Green. Yeah. Red. Okay. What about brown spot? Nope. You gonna be okay over there? So it's just future, future lines. <laughs> <laughs> just, there's a theme. Yes, there's a theme. What about uh, the? Uh, <laughs> You're trying to figure out how to get away with this, aren't you? <laughs> the limited editions get marked. <laughs> <laughs> The whiskey but skid marks. It's just a streak. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you're looking how to get away with this now. William Mitchell came to Ireland from Northern England Ooh. in the 1800s. Man, that smells like really good. He set up on Grafton Street and started a bakery, coffee shop, and confectionery. And by 1850, they were appointed a, uh, confectioners to Her Majesty the Queen. So it's the Queen's candy guys. Yeah. Right. And uh, the son, George, kept running the business, and then he opened up a dedicated wine business. I remember back in this day, merchants were mostly the ones getting alcohol to the public. Right. They would source wine, and this is the origin of all blended scotch and blended Irish whiskeys, is they would come source from all these independent makers and then mix them together until they tasted oh, damn. good. Oh, I know. Oh, damn. This is amazing. Oh, damn. They would mix them together to keep a consistent product. This is Johnny Walker. Right. This is Buchanan. This is all of the blends, right? That's really nice Irish yeah. whiskey. Mitchell and Sons were one of those. They would buy casks, and what would happen is they would, they would put paint dots on the casks to tell them how old things were the and where things were at and that's where their bottle names came from is this thing the shortbread the shortbread cookies yeah that's irish whiskey that all day is long classic irish that shortbread cookie note for days man it stays with you you know what i have to compare this to this is going to have a little bit brighter of for lack of a better word, brighter, like a citrus tang right on the back end. Oh, that is but so it's, good. But it feels very similar to Red Breast 12. No, no, Red Breast 12 was way more meaty. Red Breast 12, well I'm saying. No, way more meaty. I'm saying more of a citrus tang on the back end. Yeah, way more, man. This is, this is a more than 30% difference. As long as you pour. Because yellow spot and green spot are both remarkably fruity and floral. And the green spot, I even get coconut. I don't get that in yellow spot. Meaty is not the word. Buttery is yeah. the word. Yeah. Buttery. But this has all the floral and, and vibrancy so red, that this lacks. Red breast 12 is more buttery. Mm -hmm. Yellow spot has that same shortbread biscuit, has the butter note. But that's most Irish. But it has this bright citrusy note on the back end. Now here's why. It's really they're good. using um, they're using sherry, Spanish Malaga, and bourbon casks mixed together mm -hmm. in this whiskey. Twelve years old. Mm -hmm. Right now, the age statements originally were the blue spot was eight, the green spot was ten, the yellow spot was twelve, and the red spot was fifteen. Oh. I, I think I may be getting too fat. Why? Because if here's this is a real thing. I just I just realized this just now. Okay. All right. If I poke my butt out, mm -hmm. I can feel my back fat bunching up right here. Oh, that's gross. Right there. I'm not. That's gross. That's just back fat. Just kind of. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I'm not touching it. <laughs> Go ahead. Nope, not doing it. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. Continue with the show. So. The cool thing is, so they are still an independent company. I don't think that was enough 
Red yeah. breaths for a comparison. Yeah, in no, no, because we're gonna do another whiskey in a second. In Ireland, in a world where so many brands are bought out by larger companies in a world and owned, yeah, where so many owned brands by other are people, bought out by larger companies multiple times, multiple times, <laughs> they get taken over by international, taken companies. over by international companies. <laughs> but Mitchell always resisted. But Mitchell, <laughs> this is a movie. Always resisted. <laughs> <laughs> so they wanted to keep it controlled in the family. Yeah, any, any paragraph you start with, in a world. In a world. <laughs> Both of these, Red Rest Flow. This is probably my top two or three Irish whiskeys. Could conceivably be my favorite Irish whiskey. Yeah, but see, mine's Green Spot. Yeah, that's why you're wrong. Uh, Yellow Spot's right up there, man. Right up there. Amazing. Love it. Super good. x Bill 23. I know this is an older video, it was the Jack Daniels video. Mm. Uh, but I had to let Rex know that I also get peanuts in whiskey. Little, mm. little, 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 little peanut. Little peanut. Little peanut. Little, 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 little peanut. Uh, usually happens in Tennessee whiskey. Dickel 12 is a good example. I get that. Uh, but I will find it in bourbon every so often. Evan Williams 1783 is an extreme example with Jim Beam products coming up behind that. Yes. Not a fan of peanut flavored whiskey. Tell Dan hi <laughs> for me. <laughs> you bastard. Hi, Dan. Oh, people keep calling me Dan. It's so annoying. Hi. And they think it's funny. It is funny. And even though I know it's a joke. It's funny. And even though I know they're joking. Don't listen to them. I still get annoyed. Funny. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> Danny. Yeah, <laughs> see, it doesn't have... that. See, that doesn't even affect me. Yeah? No. But just Daniel. That's weird. <laughs> that gives me goosebumps. <laughs> We're no longer numbering the episodes, asks John Gardner, beginning in 2018. Yeah, a lot of people have brought up the numbering of episodes. So, Rex, why did we stop numbering episodes? I told Chad to put the numbers on the back end, and sometimes we ran out of room. <laughs> yeah, but why are we not prioritizing numbers? There was a reason. Oh, I, I don't know. It was algorithms. It's oh. because YouTube doesn't like... YouTube likes actual content right. instead of episode 197. Right. And it'll, it's just the things you put first, it kind of likes that better. So. Yeah, so all we're doing is just trying to grow the channel. And we're trying to actually, when people search for shit, have them actually find our videos <laughs> instead of Googling Whiskey Vault episode 97. Because <laughs> no, well, no one does that. <laughs> by the way, in the, in, in the videos, you can search by date. So yes. It's fine. I just go to videos, search by date. You can get all the stuff in order. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, thank you. For helping us past 60,000. Yeah. We just did the 50,000 celebration week. live stream. Yeah. And now we're like at 62 or something. It's ridiculous. Y'all are amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and congratulations to Brushwood, oh. the modern rogue. They yes. passed 500,000 subscribers. Yes. That's awesome. So uh, next time you're in his comment section, tell him the vault guys say hello and congratulations. Uh, JB Consulting. J, pardon me, I got that wildly wrong. JBB Consulting. <laughs> wildly wrong. <laughs> I can't stop seeing the talisker behind Daniel now. There's maybe one pour in the bottle. Put it out of its misery, please. Are you ready? That's enough for me. Like I said, that's enough for me. This is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have recently decided I could die happy only drinking Talisker 10 for the rest of my life. I did it with my birthday meal, yeah. and every course, the whiskey flavor completely changed. Yeah. And it was magnificent. You want some? I do. Come on. Give me some. That's some. <laughs> I'm gonna get another fancy whiskey and pour it all by myself. Care to be more specific? Yeah, give me half. You greedy. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, it's super good. Um, I mean, Irish whiskey is fine, but this. No, no, Irish whiskey. No, no, no. Red Breast 12 and Yellow Spot in your Green Spot. That's oh. not fine. That's no, they're great. That's exceptional. They're great. I could be happy drinking all of these all day. Mm. I get it. Mm. But uh, this is the salt. 
and the the the, the earth. Mm-hmm. This is a, uh, the birthday meal, and I, I think I talked about this before, but I started it with oysters. Yeah. And Talisker and oysters. Really? Go do it. Oh, I could see how that's a thing. Go do it right now. Oh. Yeah. It's the, as a matter of fact, as soon as we're done with this video, I think I'm going to Perla's. That's an oyster place, I'm assuming. Yes, it's on South Congress. Right. It's an oyster bar. We just had lunch. I'm totally ready to go to Perla's. We just had lunch. It's barely four o'clock. I know. <laughs> You know, okay, I'll wait, but I'm going to Perlis. Man, you jinxed me. I missed two in a row. I know. Two in a row. <laughs> I was surprised we hadn't done this yet because we've talked about it in conversation a lot, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. Here's to fighting. Oh, really? That's so gross. My sons have started burping at the table all the time, and it's disgusting. <laughs> I would rather hear someone fart than burp. No, shut yeah. up. Yes. Oh my God. No. Absolutely. What is that? No. There's no know. comparison. No. There's no comparison. If I was standing around and someone farted, I would be more okay with that than someone burping. That is the most ridiculous thing. No, it's a thing. In the world. No. Dude, digestive ass vapors versus a nice, pleasant, innocent little belch of appreciation because you just had something delicious. Nope. It's, it's, the essence of sh is what you're, is what you're preferring here. I'm not preferring one. <laughs> I'm just saying, to me, burping is more gross. <laughs> Hold on. Let me cook one up for you. Alright. Alright, here's the fighting, stealing and drinking. We did start with skid mark though. We did. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. If you steal me, you steal a lover's heart. You drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with, with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.